this is what's going to, what your default layout is going to look like when you open Turbocad up. This is okay, but I tend to like to use my my configuration. I put a lot of effort into creating a layout that is very good for training purposes and also very productive when you actually start working. So if you go to Tools, Workspace, and choose Customize, and then in this drop-down list here, you'll see a couple of options. Now, the professional version of TurboCAD has got this thing, CAD Course 18 here available, and you click that, and you click Load From, and then it changes the interface to match um, all of the training movies that I have and stuff going forward. I particularly like this layout because it's a very logically, um, uh, all the tools are very logically located and it's very productive. Once you actually learn it, you'll see the, you see the benefits of it. The main feature of this thing is that it's, uh, it's a, what we call a tabbed interface. And it, so, so, the, so the joy of this interface is that you've got these different tabs here. So all your line tools are grouped into this, this tab over here. All your arc tools are grouped. All, the, all of these different tools are, are associated. Now, we're going to be going through each of these separate tools and show, giving you an overview enough to get you dangerous to actually use these things, okay? Okay. Um, so, and if you don't have this interface, if you're using the deluxe version, you can always go to the internet. You can go to uh, cadcourse.com, cadcourse.com. And then you go to the support page over here, and you'll see over uh, that there, that there's a whole lot of interface uh, stuff here that you can go and download. So there's the 18 interface, and you need to go and unzip these files into the config folder in the TurboCAD. And it's all there's a whole movie here describing how to get the correct interface on the support page of CADcourse.com if you're having trouble if it's not in this list. But the, the way you get there is Tools, Customize, you come to the drop-down, you choose that, you click Load From, and then you have this interface, okay? Okay. Now, over here on the right-hand side, you'll also see another thing that I often do is uh, under the Customize is that I go to the Palettes tool here, and I change the, the, this option here to be Multi-Row, and I change it to be Forced Horizontal. Then what happens is you can the the, ta the the palette names are down here on the right hand side, and you can see them easily and switch from one to the other. Okay, the design director is a very important palette that we use for layers and views and a whole no a lot of other things. The selection info palette is extremely important for seeing what you've got selected. But the point is that you've got all of these different palettes here that are available for you in this interface, okay? okay. I, want, I want to talk specifically about this one for uh, at the beginning here, this tools palette, which is um, you're going to see a very strong similarity between this palette here and what we have ac uh, across the top here. So this is the, 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 the line tab. And you'll see there you've got a single line tool. That's the same as this one here. You've got a polyline tool. That's the same as that one there. Okay? And all of these tools are the same. And even the double lines. The double lines start over here. You see? Double lines. Yeah. And then you have a set of double line tools. Then you have, come down here, you have this multi-lines. The multi-lines start over there. So you've got a set of multi-line tools. And there's a couple of other tools here which are spread around through the, the, you see there's the zoom tools and there's an architecture palette. But what I want to show you is that there's a strong similarity between this tools palette and the palettes and the tabs across the top. Now this drop down list over here gives you, um, you see the, the arc circles. So this is the same as the arc palette. So we have uh, the firstly the construction tools, and then the other the the circle tools, which is this section here, and then we have this uh, have our arc tools over there, which is that section there, and then finally the curve tools, and then some other tools. So um, and if you keep on moving down here, you'll see there's a move copy, which is uh, similar to this tab over here. 
you have the text and dimensioning which is similar to this tab over here um, and then modify which is similar to this tab and then uh, and on it goes and 3D is similar to this tab over here. So you can access your tools either through this tools palette or you can access them through the tabs across the top here. All right? Okay. Now if you have a really nice big screen and two tool juice dual screens, these palettes can actually be dragged around. So I'm going to go onto this tab thing here and you can actually drag this tab, this palette and you can see I can either dock it in the center or at the top there if I drop it on there. If I drop it on the left here, you see I have this palette on the left hand side and I can see all my tools there. And if you've got a nice big screen, you might consider dragging and dropping these palettes onto different locations, okay? But for, but for now, for our purposes, I'm just going to keep this docked on the right hand side, so I'm going to dock it over there. You see now it, it has two of them um, because I dock, chose to dock it on the right hand side instead of and dropping it on the middle. So I move it and I drop it over there and now it joined the rest of the palettes and we've got all of these different palettes down here. So that dragging and dropping those palettes is sometimes nice. Sometimes you'll lose all of these palettes altogether. If you hit this little X button there, you don't have any palettes at all. Now, people often say to me, how do you get those palettes back? Um, you can do it one at, one at a time by coming down here and choosing that, and you can get to see one palette over there. Or you can come back to your customize and come to the palettes and turn them all on over here, and then they come back one at a time. Or you can just simply go back to the options and click load from and it'll get back to the back to the default with all of them open. Okay? Okay. This guy over here um, is called auto hide. Sometimes that's quite handy if you've got restricted space. You can click that and then you move over it. And uh, as you move over it, it will pop out, you see. But I tend to have it... Uh, uh, that little pin there on the right hand side so that I have all of my palettes over there. Okay? okay. All right. Um, now let's talk about uh, uh, the, the, the philosophy of this, uh, of this uh, interface. On the left hand side over here we have all the tools related to selecting objects or snapping to objects. Okay? All of these tools, or most of these tools, are all about inserting new stuff. So all about lines and inserting new stuff, whereas this is all about selecting existing stuff. At the bottom of the screen here, we have a very important thing called the um, uh, inspector bar. And the inspector bar works in conjunction with any of these tools. Uh, now... Uh, and then at the very bottom we can see X and Y over here. As we move around the screen, I move my cursor, you can see the X increases as I go to the right direction. If I move up, the Y increases. And then we've even got a Z figure when we're working with 3D. But for now we're working strictly in 2D, so you can see how those X and Y figures change. Now are you familiar with... Um, uh, coordinate uh, systems, um, X and Y coordinate, it's like called Cartesian coordinate systems. Are you familiar with them? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's very similar to how maps and um, all, all, all maps and those types of things are located. And you can see the rulers match up as well. If you have a look on the ruler, that represents the Y numbers. And across the right, these represent the X numbers. Okay. Okay. You can choose to view your ruler or not if you want to um, under workspace. Yeah, you can see you can turn those rulers on and off. You've got a couple of options there. I would just live with the defaults that I have right now. Okay. 